748. It's the Bill and Jessica Show. We're live on our official Power Facebook page. Head on over, check us out, share the video. We want to welcome live in studio once again, Brandon Zietler with the Reverend Warriors. Good morning. Yes, welcome good back. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Yes. Happy holidays. Yes. 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 Man, We're the countdown's on. Yes. We're getting there. Countdown's what, what, on. What, what are we down to now? Six days? Seven days? Is that what it is? Today, I lost count. Today's the 19th. <laughs> Man, Six days. Yeah. Can't believe it. Monday. Monday is the big day. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So how's uh, how's everything going with the family? You guys getting ready, prepared for uh, the holiday? Yeah, we just uh, we got to go up to Jim Thorpe this past, I don't know, Jim Thorpe, PA. There is a Santa train ride. Oh, nice. I would suggest if you're able to go with kids, so worth it. Uh, it's a train ride. You go all the way through. And they tell you all about the gorge, the history, and everything about Jim Thorpe because it's actually named after Jim Thorpe, mm-hmm. the actual person. Yeah. And uh, it was just, it was gorgeous. I didn't care about the fog or anything like that. It was just, the air is just so much better, too. Yeah. It's just so much cleaner. Yeah. And uh, we're going this um, this Friday to the Ocean City Festival of Lights. Oh, yes. Winter Festival of Lights. Yeah. So yes. I feel like it's the it's Delmarva a good tradition. It's family tradition. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Um, well, Hudson Field didn't have their lights mm-hmm. this year. So okay. usually that's where we hit too. Okay. But. Well, I got to tell you a secret while, uh, and it's not really a secret because we ended up going last night, but while you're in Ocean City, you go to 125th, 127th Street, which is Winterfest. Mm-hmm. After that, you have to drive by a house in Ocean City to go see. It's called the Cane Woods Christmas House. Someone told me about that, actually. I the, think somebody sent me a picture of it. And I yeah. Was, well, yeah, he went last night. Wow. Yes. It goes to the sound of the music. It's on um, Fountain Road and South Bay Drive. Oh, yeah. I'm it's in Ocean up. City, Cane Woods. Uh, look it up, but it's definitely well worth it. It'll take you yes. an extra five, ten minutes, but drive by no. there. It's worth it. Well, yeah. I mean, me and uh, my family, we put up a whole bunch of ours on our farm uh, where Conaway Road is. Okay. And it is literally... One property, two properties, three properties, four properties, five properties of nothing but lights. Oh my god! Wow! Like as soon as you come That's around incredible. the big curve, you literally see a glow in the distance, and in that glow is literally all the lights from what we put up. We start on uh, pretty much Halloween, the weekend of Halloween, right. and then you have it, just keep adding, keep and, on adding, adding and, and adding and adding. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So it's it's just nice. We don't ask for anything. We just put it up for one. We all have kids, yeah. Right. So the yeah. kids love seeing it, and and it's just tradition. Mm-hmm. Me, my cousin, his wife, my kids have been out there always helping me. But it's it started. I want to say 15 years ago we've been doing this. Oh wow! 15, 16 years ago. Wow! And people can go by and, and see. And just, they can and ride by. Every and, and pretty much there is a nice curve. So if you slow down, put on your your four ways or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's. It's not to that level yet, but <laughs> yeah. it's getting there. We're, we're, we're the we're the we're the poor man. Uh, one of those. So. <laughs> the poor man came with Christmas house. No, but but I'm telling you, um, definitely. I'm it definitely was just really neat. It was just incredible. Yeah. So and they they uh, shoot out the fake snow and stuff. Yes. Like on certain times. So neat. Um, I love that. But we just rode by last night, and it's six to ten every night. Yeah. So they got their own Facebook page. I mean, it's it's incredible. That, so that is awesome. Uh, but yes, Irreverent Warriors, Brandon Zietler, for people yes. who don't know yes. what Irreverent Warriors is, um, real quick, give us a rundown. So uh, Irreverent Warriors, we are a veterans organization that basically brings suicide awareness. Mm-hmm. This time of year is the worst time of the year. This is where the numbers skyrocket. And I'm not just talking about one, two, three, four, five. We're talking 10, 20, 30, wow. 40, 50. I mean, mm. the numbers are better than years, mm-hmm. but they're still having issues. Okay. Um, and it's not just here on our homeland. I've found out that over in Italy, over in like our different bases mm-hmm. across the seas, the suicide rate has gotten out of hand. Mm. And it's no better here in America, but... The one thing that you can do is, you know, somebody that's a service member that could be a risk or maybe a risk or not. You can't even tell the tell signs, but you know that he's alone yeah. or, you know, oh. that he's mm-hmm. he's struggling during the holidays. Mm-hmm. Right. Give him a phone call. That phone call can save his life. Mm-hmm. That text message, the funny meme, the, the funny just video that might save his life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just that's what we're trying to promote out there. 
Uh, we already got our hike date for 2024. You do? Yes. June 29th in okay. Rehoboth Beach. Um, we're going back to Rehoboth Beach, but the route is different. All right. We are kind of going all the way around the town of Rehoboth. Okay. Um, we're going to go down the little bit of Forgotten Mile. Right. So. Nice. Get everybody, you know, they saw what we had on the end of town, like in the town of Rehoboth. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go around and do the whole entire boardwalk as well this time. So oh, nice. It's, nice. Um, we're still looking, we're going to be looking for sponsors. Mm -hmm. We're going to be looking for donations because we're nonprofit. And, and every single dime penny that mm -hmm. you spend with us, it goes back into the hike. Mm -hmm. And our whole organization, there's only two people that are paid, and that is our CEO and our COO. Everybody else is volunteers. Right. Myself, I'm a volunteer. Mm -hmm. And I work two jobs, and I've got kids, family, and everything like that. But this is worth it. This is worth the time, the effort. Um, we have great people as yourselves. Let me come on here and talk about it because anytime of course i, I love you. being here with you guys you guys make me happy i do tune in i, I you uh, do and i love it i yeah. you know you, I, I see your comments and your, and your likes and your loves and i appreciate yeah, that's that that's awesome um so did you guys do reese across america we did we yeah. did one here in millsboro nice. there was a nice small group of us i mean the turnout for reese across america was mm -hmm. huge oh my goodness we had like I when when you incredible. came up from 113 to get to Governor Stokely Road, mm -hmm. I think that's what it is, to, well, when you make that right-hand turn to head towards the cemetery, right. you all saw nothing but cars. Mm -hmm. Cars for days, mm -hmm. it seemed like. And I was like, that's awesome. Yeah. That, that shouts, America. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, yeah. that just, yeah. it kind of gives you that joy back mm -hmm. that many people think yeah. of that. And you had... You had all the Boy Scouts of America out there. You had Girl Scouts. You had banks out there. You had um, different motorcycle groups. You had our group that was out there. And other just, it was nice to put any differences anybody had aside right. yeah. for a common good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, and all, just, all for the vets. I exactly. mean, you know, and thank you for your service. Thank you for everybody, uh, you know, who uh, has served. And, you know, of course, we always remember our vets. And, uh, I mean, it's just uh, it's just an incredible day, the Reeds Cross America. Yes. Incredible day. Did you see the line of tractor trailers? I did. Do you know how many tractor trailers there were? No. 30. It was a mile long. Wow. Literally a mile wow. long of tractor trailers. Do you know, do you, did you hear where they started from? I don't know where they start, but I saw them coming down Route 1 going through Dover, and that was an incredible sight to see. So there are some pictures out there that somebody had. It's a video with music playing in the background mm -hmm. of the mural because they went right underneath the mural there at the Dover Air Force yep. Base. Wow. And it was just it, – it gives you tingles. It's mm -hmm. giving me tingles right now just thinking about it. But um, there is a gentleman, Jim Weller, who oh yeah, he he went up in a helicopter to film that whole entire thing of all the people um, that were uh, just like the officers, the fire departments, the motorcycle groups that made sure they made way for these tractor mm -hmm. trailers to come in. Mm -hmm. They came in from Maine. Wow. Oh, from Maine. From Maine. They drove from Maine. Yeah. I was like, and you thought about Delaware? That's <laughs> right, awesome. right, right. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> because they stopped up in Middletown, Whitehall up in Middletown. Okay. okay. And then they stopped at the Harrington Fire Company, mm -hmm. which I'm like, out of all the people and all the places that you can go to, you guys stopped at us. That that just, you know, that shows. Yeah, it's awesome. That little Delaware is not always just little Delaware yeah. all the time. My um, my wife actually uh, ended up going to Herlock. Okay. So that's um, the only uh, veterans um, cemetery on this side of the bridge. Yes. Uh, you know, in Maryland. So, and that's where uh, her grandfather is. That's awesome. You know, with um, her grandma as yep. well. So uh, she said it was just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, just packed i mean she never seen so many people i mean it's great it was it was nuts so but it kind of restores your faith in humanity a little bit with yeah, everything crazy yeah. in the world mm -hmm. but then you take the that couple of hours and you see the joining of all yep. the americans together everybody mm -hmm. put their problems aside yeah and just say hey they paid a price before all of us mm -hmm. and i want to come here i mean i think only 
everybody got one wreath and just laid it down. Mm-hmm. Um, that's how many people were out there. And there's wow. a bunch of graves out there. I don't know exa- the exact number. Right. But, I mean, it's it's got to be in the thousands. Mm-hmm. Just amazing. Yeah. Um, so you were actually wanted to come in today. Really, I know you mentioned it already, but to talk uh, about, you know, what's going on with the suicide rate and, you know, um, it's a holiday season, you know, just yeah. to, you know, kind of just make aware to, you know, ask people to reach out to someone they know um, and yeah. talk about some of the things that you do and some of the things that Reverend Warriors does as well. So every Sunday we put out on Facebook, it's called a battle buddy check mm-hmm. um, in the military, mostly the army who does this as an army guy. Um, we have a thing called a battle buddy. That means that person at all times you know, as you see, I got your six. That's mm-hmm. what it is. I got your back because the six o'clock is your back. And we do that. We do different things. To I have phone numbers that I reach out to certain people. And then part of my team does the same thing. They'll reach out to certain people that we know. They do at high risk. I don't put names out there. And I don't ask for their names mm-hmm. because that's, you know, mm-hmm. They want to feel comfortable. They want to trust us. That's the number one thing with us is that they got to trust us. Right. And I got to talk um, Sunday when we were on our way back from Jim Thorpe. Gentleman, he is in his 70s, and he was a Vietnam vet. And he broke down crying, saying that how his Christmas in Vietnam was. Wow. And how he lost three of his friends Mm. on Christmas Day. There was no ceasefire. There was no nothing. War was war. They kept on moving. Mm-hmm. And he said that Christmas is... Sorry, I'm going to get a little choked up. <laughs> um, Christmas is not happy, happy, joy, joy, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, red and green and mm-hmm. everything else. He tells me that this is a day of nothing but mourning for him. Oh, but then, yeah, wow. that, that's every Christmas for him. Because he held one guy, and then he held another guy who died, and then another guy who died. And then he went, and he's like, I don't want to be in this world. I said, no, but you matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You matter. Yeah. I was like, you have family. He goes like, well, I've got this person here. I got this person there. And I'm like, but you have family. Right. I will be part of your family. If that's what you want, I'll be part of your family, too. Wow. I'll check up on you. Mm-hmm. I'll make sure that you're 100%. You're a go, not a no-go. That's that's another that's military lingo. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that's what a reverent warriors does. We make sure we don't just how's it say we're about it, about it. Mm-hmm. We don't just talk about it. Yeah. We're, we we literally get out there and talk about mm-hmm. it. We talk to the people that are hikers. Our hikers. We had sixty percent brand new hikers in August. Sixty percent of our hikers were brand new people, never been to a hike. And they decided to come to Delaware first. That's great. That's awesome. And wow. <laughs> we tell people once you drink the Kool Aid, you'll you <laughs> you'll, you'll never go go back yeah, because yeah. this is a family like no other. Well, I feel like you have. I feel like you were meant to do what you're doing because you, I feel like you you personally have like this gift of you know making people feel good. Yeah. Talking to people. You know, um, we always enjoy when you come in. I mean, I know it's not about us. You know, we're not in the military or or weren't in the military. But I feel like, you know, when you come in, step in here, like, it's almost like you light up the room. Like, like, like Like, you make us feel engaged. Like, you know, again someone who's going through something i feel like you could help change somebody's mood you right. know yeah. or, or or you're genuine and, yes. and to be there for you're, you're really you really mean what you say mm-hmm. you know exactly i mean i'm sorry for my navy guys out there my army we whooped that butt <laughs> it was awesome i was gonna wear my army shirt but you know it's a state professional right right <clears throat> but, but that's the point of it we if you ever get to go to an army navy game yes there is a lot of bickering back and forth, but at the end of the day, at the end, yes. it's just good fun. Right. Yeah. yeah That's yeah, the camaraderie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. the humor that we use. I mean, we call, you know, I call Navy guys squids. They just call me some, you know, army guys, some, you know. <laughs> and then, of course, you have your Marines that we call crown eaters. There's right. There's a whole story right. behind that. And then you got your coasty, you know, 
Oh, I forgot. Space Force. Don't forget your Space Force. And then you got Chair Force. I mean, it's just... It's just but, but that's the fun. That's the humor. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we right. do. Now, civilians will be like, I have no clue what he's talking about. He's, yeah, He's yeah, crazy. Yeah. He needs help. <laughs> uh, but that's that's what we do, man. It's just trying to get that laughing. Like, um, all the hikes that we do, we are, the hike list on Irreverent Warriors is up and live. So you can see what's coming up. Like uh, Puerto Rico is coming up, I believe, in February. Oh, nice. February 3rd. Very nice. Jessica was just there. Yeah, I was so. just there. I love Puerto Rico. I, I remember when I was in the service and we got to go to Puerto Rico. I loved it. You didn't want to come home? I, I didn't know. want to come home. <laughs> I loved everything about it. <laughs> Puerto Rico, you could just feel the culture. You, you, yeah. You're, you're yeah. literally just like, you're engrossed with the culture, mm-hmm. the people. And they're so nice to you, so sweet to you. And it's just, it's like when you go down I south. I think everyone needs to go at least once. The, yeah, no, that's definitely on our that's definitely on our uh, bucket list. Yes, that's definitely. I want to take my wife down there. So my wife hasn't been there. I have to take her there mm-hmm. because it's so worth it. Yeah, I mean it's just like when you get off the plane and you go to uh, Old San Juan. Mm-hmm. Old San Juan is just you sit there and you're like wow, and how this is you know stand the test of time mm-hmm. after hurricane after hurricane right. after hurricane, and it's just it's just amazing. If people want to find out more information about your hike coming up, uh, what it's all about, how exactly uh, you know you guys do, how can they uh, look you guys up? So for one is irreverentwarriors.com. Go to the old good old website, or you can look up Irreverent Warriors on Facebook. Mm-hmm. You can look up IW Delaware, and that's just for our chapter. You can look up IW Baltimore, DC, IW Philly, IW Jersey Shore. So... You can look up all these different places. We even got Virginia Beach down there. Oh, nice. oh wow, nice. There's a lot of Navy people down there. <laughs> yeah, I bet. But, <laughs> and, Virginia Beach. Yes, and, yeah. and then when uh, you know your hike gets closer to the one here in Delaware, you come back in. We'll oh, talk yes. about it. Okay, we're, we're, we're we got more to talk about. More yeah. to talk about. No, absolutely. But I do have a little present for you guys. Oh, okay. The CEO of IW. Sign this. This is so nice. It's a certificate of appreciation. Oh man, look at this guy. Just to power 101.7. So nice. Well, we appreciate that. Yeah, if you guys yes. want to show that you guys on the camera here. Yeah, we there you go. In there on yeah, that. no, absolutely. Thank you so much. Well, we man, thank that you is for awesome. Everything you that guys is awesome. do. Oh, anytime, anytime. But we have something for your station. In the military, you when you get um individually just great things about you. It's usually a G1, a G2, uh, meaning a general, one star, general, two star, or a sergeant major or a lieutenant colonel, something of that nature. They basically hand you a coin, and that coin is their rank and who they are or something military. Right. But it's for outstanding military work that you've done. So we bring military out to our civilians to say, hey, we want to thank you for what you do. This here is the challenge coin we are giving to the voice channel. Oh, wow. If you want to take a look at it. She's got some weight to her. Absolutely. Yeah, it is is heavy. And it's so detailed and beautiful. Who makes those? So it's the coin maker is SvenSmash.com. Wow. And it says. He's an active duty Marine. Wow. Reverend Warriors Delaware. That is beautiful. I know. Look. Mm. But that is for the voice channel. Thank you. And, uh. It's our thanks for what you guys do for us. So it's a of course. Little, little Christmas gifts I give you guys. Yeah, today. yeah, yeah, man. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. <laughs> I Thank love you. It. Forever Warriors. Again, uh, for people who want more information on you guys, want to find out more about the walks coming up and what you guys do, uh, maybe they need support for you know mm-hmm. someone who uh, is you know just home from active duty or they you know need someone to talk to, exactly. uh, someone who is listening, who is a vet. How can they get up with you guys? So you can. Uh, message me on Facebook individually. We'll talk on there first. Of course, you got to gain the trust. Right. Um, you find Brandon Zeitler. That's that's me on Facebook. Or you can go to IW Delaware, message on there, and then we can get you set to the right place. We also have vet togethers okay. that are coming up. We will be doing a Valentine's Day dance. Oh, nice. Um, oh. Yes. And then we will be going to the Old Pro Golf in March. Oh. For some putt putt, some very well needed 
get out of the cold and that's right. the, that's the kind of golf that I know how to yes. play. <laughs> See, then you got to come out, come out and enjoy yeah. with us. Yeah, North North, you know, the Delmarva and the Eastern Shore is a big golfing area. I know how to do the old pro golf. <laughs> well, did you know the owner of the old pro golf was a World War II vet? Oh, really? He oh, I did not know that. I didn't know that either. Oh, so, nice. And uh, I talked to the owner now, who's taken over because he has passed away. Um, he was like, I want you to guys come in here. You got to come in here. Yeah. I've seen you guys, and you guys got the shorty shorts on and <laughs> everything like that. We love it. So Yeah. Wow. Well, Brandon, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you. We you appreciate guys. it. You guys have this a happy so holiday. Special. Yeah, you too. You too. And again, uh, Winterfest Lights, King yes. Woods House. I'm, I'm going to take pictures, and I'll send it. Yeah. Trust me. 809. We got the coffee mix coming up. What did we do?